Hello everyone, this is an update for how to integrate your kit batch terminal with your Visual Studio Code. In 2021, they changed the procedure a bit, so I'm just here to help you guys to make things a bit easier. Now, first of all, you have to download the brand new and upgraded version of Git Bash, and for that, you have to go to the official website of Git, and for that, you have to enter the URL, which is gitscmcom downloads. After that, uh, you will just get to this website right here, and from here, you have to select the operating system that you're working on, and in my case, that is Windows. So what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and select this option and click on that. Now, as soon as I will click on this option, the new setup of the Git Bash software will be downloaded in my laptop. To save our time, I've already downloaded it in my uh, Windows machine. So what we will do is just go to that folder where I have saved the setup and I'll double click on that. Now, as you can see, this is the installation wizard. Uh, so what I will do, I'll just hit next next yes next next and from this drop down menu uh, i'll just go ahead and uh, select this option which is use visual studio code as git's default editor now after that i'll just again hit next 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 all the way to the end and after that i'll just hit install now it will take a couple of seconds uh, in installing this git bash into my windows machine now, as you can see, uh, we have successfully installed the Git Bash in our laptop. Now, what I'll do, I'll just uncheck this box and I'll check this one. And after that, I'll hit finish. So, this is the Git Bash terminal that we have just installed in our laptop. Now, our next task is to integrate this inside Visual Studio Code. And for that, what we will do, we'll just go ahead and open up our Visual Studio Code. Now for the sake of this video, I'm using the latest version of Visual Studio Code and this is the home page of my uh, VS Code. Here you can see we have PowerShell here instead of Git Bash and we don't want that. We want our Git Bash uh, integrated in our VS Code. So for that, uh, I'll just go ahead and click on this uh, little button right here which is a drop down button and here you can see an option which is a select default profile and I'll click that and here we have different options. The first one is PowerShell second one is git bash third one is command prompt and the fourth one is windows powershell now what i will do i'll just go ahead and click on this git bash button now after that what we will do we'll just go ahead and close this visual studio code and restart it now here you can see uh, our powershell has been replaced by this bash terminal right here and here you can see our terminal has also been changed and this may uh, seem a bit similar to this. So that means we have integrated this terminal inside our Visual Studio Code. So that is uh, for this video. I just wanted to help you out guys who are finding it difficult to integrate our Git Bash with Visual Studio Code. Now uh, using this method, you can easily do that.